To access the Resources area, click on the Resources tab. Your school might have its school box set up a little differently and your Resources tab may be called something else. If you don't have this tab, it might be shown on the side menu and named something different. You might even have access to your resources area from a button on your dashboard. If you're unsure where your resources area is located, ask your super users. The resources area shows the back end of Schoolbox. This is organised in a folder structure. In Schoolbox, users are separated into groups by their role. These roles are set by your school and may be things like junior students, staff, senior student and parents. Each school will have different roles which suit the structure of their school. Each user will see different things when they access the resources area. This is due to the permissions which are set within Schoolbox. Clicking on the eye icon underneath a folder will show you the permissions which are set to that folder. We can see that the 2015 Classes folder within this school box gives administration right access and teachers right access. Right access means that users within these roles can edit the page. We can also see that the 2015 Classes page has given senior students and junior students read access. This means that users in these roles will be able to view this folder. They won't be able to make any changes to it, just view it. There is one more level of permissions that can be set and that is to give no permissions. We can see that parents have been given no permissions. This means that parents will not be able to see this folder in their resources area. Every time you create a folder or page within Schoolbox, the page or folder will inherit permissions from its parent folder. This is the folder in which it is stored. If you want to change the permissions for the folder that you are creating, untick the Inherit Permissions box and set the permissions that you would like for your new page or folder.